The issues raised by Disney's choice to film in a land stained by China's genocide has serious implications for the entire global community and especially for the Muslim Ummah worldwide. As a Uyghur Muslim myself, I am horrified by the destruction of my people is being overlooked because of China's blood money. Many individuals are already complicit in this genocide by uh, using the products made by Uyghur slaves. And now by the ways that Disney gives tacit approval of the China's um, the Chinese regime's actions. My own sister, a retired medical doctor, has been detained since 2018. This week is the two-year anniversary of her disappearance. We have no news of her all these times. When I see the news about Disney's Mulan, I can't help but wonder if Disney cruise passed by the concentration camp where she's being held. I want to ask Disney how they managed to secure filming rights in one of the most restricted areas in the world today, while I can't even get a word from the Chinese authorities on my sister. The answer is, of course, that Chinese regime values money over human lives, and we must not be complicit in this ideology. Disney should not try to make profit out of this. The most crushing reality of all is that actress in this film has used her platform to speak against the freedom and to back the Chinese Communist Party's totalitarian brutality. The film Mulan and the circumstances surrounding its release are extremely distressing to the millions of Uyghur people across the world. If we are truly committed to the values of humanity and to justice, we must carefully evaluate our complicity. A story like Mulan, with its themes of courage and heroism, is completely undermined by the betrayal of integrity. And I call on Disney to make this right and to the entire world to demand action from Disney. I'm especially calling on the Islamic countries and the Muslim Ummah not to overlook China's crimes and the China's war that they are deliberately waging on Islam by rewriting the Holy Quran and by outlawing all the normal practices of our faith. The uh, current situation of the Uyghurs is incredibly dire. While the international community treats this genocide as an intellectual issue to discuss, we, the Uyghurs, really sadden to see our Uyghur people are dying. We are crying out for help before this evil overtakes the entire world. The calamity of the Uyghurs will befall the entire world if this genocide is not stopped.